what's up youtube so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a log system to catch every single error in your 5m server and this is one client side and also server side basically any error that is seen it will get caught so when you come into my discord and ask for support all you really have to do is plug in the file that it creates for you which will describe what resource it's in which line and what the error was so you can see we have a catch errors uh, folder here and we're going to we're going to start with the server and then from the server we're going to go through the client and i'm going to show you guys how it's done it's going to be a two-part video so we're going to do the server side first which will be logging the error creating the error and uh all the folder stuff all the fun stuff basically and then the client side i will also display how it all works um these videos should basically come after one after another on that second video if you guys don't want to create this you don't have to just download it from github and follow the directions but without further ado we're going to get into the server so we're going to have a couple things we're going to have a local uh, everything's going to be local right so we're going to have a local um log directory which is going to be log direct and we're going to just call it logs and what this is is the folder name and then we're going to have a local log file and what are we going to call this uh, we're going to set this first off equal to log direct and then we're going to add two dots so it goes to that log directory so it goes to this folder and then we're going to add a name to it which is going to be slash errors dot txt so it's a text file and that is the file name so one thing is we're going to have to do is create this directory if it doesn't already exist so we're going to do a local function of create Oops, let me lowercase c create log directory if not exist. So if the log directory does not exist, what are we going to do? We are going to create it. So we're going to do a local result and we're just asking if the result is true or not, or but uh, OS dot execute. So oh, whoops, oh, execute. Um, so execute, so OS execute is operating system and it will execute that. And we're going to do mkdri, which is the, the directory. And then we're going to do dot dot and then log direct. And now we're going to do return true because then it should have created. I'll keep that up for now. And when we're doing that, we're going to do a local function of create file. I guess we'd call it log file, log file, if not exists. And this will create that log file, right? So first thing in when we're creating the log file, we need to have the directory. So we're going to do if not, and we're going to copy this down. So if not this, then return. Oops. So if it doesn't have the directory, uh, it creates it basically. And that's all that really does. Then we're going to have to do a local file and we're going to do io.open, which will open the file and we're going to do log file. So oops, log file. So it grabs that and I should capitalize the, this extra right here. So we'll do that real quick. Oops, log file, comma r or r, whoops. And then we're going to do a couple of if statements here. So if file equals nil, then what we're going to do is file equals open whoops io dot open log file comma w so we're just making sure the file's opening basically so then if file then so if file so this would be if the file is open because this is what it is calling it's calling for it to open so if the file is open then what we are going to do is file colon write in here we're going to do air log or air logs and then uh, backslash n which will create a new line so all the errors will be on a separate line basically and then we will call file close which will save the file else we're going to add a print statement here uh, of couldn't create log file and and oh my bad not end and else so if file equals nil we're going to do file close here just to make sure this file is closed and and end so basically what this will do is if the file creation 
um, basically it has to create the file right so this will create the file and make sure it's created and then close the file and write in the file of the error logs uh, if this doesn't have a directory it will create the directory so we're going to close those down you guys need to go back you can always go back in the video pause uh, or if the second video already came out there should be a github uh, link below with this file all right, but now we're going to go into logging the actual file. So there's going to be two ways. We're going to have Discord webhook and just regular file, or you could use both. I suggest just using the regular file if you're going to come to me for support. Um, and then you're able just to send that right in. It would make it a lot easier for you guys, but also for me to understand where your errors are. So local function of log error. And what we're going to call in here is a resource. Resource. Um, the play or air and then the player so this player is dealt through steam so their steam name basically all right so in here we're going to do one create the log file if it doesn't exist or directory my bad uh actually never mind for creating the log file this creates the directory if it doesn't exist so we're going to create that log uh file and then we're going to do a local file equals io.open file log file and comma a so then if file then we're going to do a couple things here uh so we're going to do a local time uh which we're going to grab the exact time it is so how we're going to do this is os.date which grabs the operating system's date and in here it's a little interesting so we're going to use percentage capital y for year dash percentage lowercase m for month dash percentage lowercase d for day and we're gonna add a couple spaces because we also want the time so percentage oops, percentage capital h for hours colon percentage capital m for minutes and uh, colon percentage capital s for seconds so this will log the year month day and then hour minute second right all right now what we're going to do is write the file so we're going to do file colon write and this is where we're going to be writing in this file so we're going to have a couple things here um how we're going to have it is we want the time first so we're going to have another in here we're going to open this we're going to do a brackets so these brackets, and then we're going to do percentage lowercase s, which is going to be the first formatted thing, um, which I'll get into how they format everything in here. So air in resource, and then per, uh, percentage lowercase s, space by player, space percentage s, and then colon, whoops, colon percentage s. And then after this, we're going to want a new line, so we're at backslash n. So within these two brackets, we're going to do a colon format. Oops, format. And then in here, we're going to do a time, resource, player, and error. And how this works, so it would take these. So these, let me comment, this equals a format equals formatable right so this is going to be that first format second format third format fourth format and how we're getting this is we're setting first to time second to resource player and then air and it's going to write that in these formatted options instead of uh these percentage s's and you'll see that in the next video okay and then we're going to do file close which is going to close the file uh and save else we're going to do else and we're going to print uh and couldn't open log file and and that is your basically logging of the file that will create into it but we're going to have a couple more things and i'm going to get through uh this next one a little i might keep it for the net okay i'm going to keep the discord web hooks actually for the next one but we're going to write this error write the the log so we're going to register server event and i like to do add event handler right under it 
And basically what I do here is I just call it the same thing. I do log error and then go down to here, which is gonna be a function. And in the function, we're gonna ask for a couple things here. We're gonna ask for the use uh, webhook resource and error. Now, this might not make sense, but if not webhook, uh, then use equals false. And we're gonna end this. So this end line is just questioning if you're using a webhook or not. Um, there might be a different option, but for the default, I'm setting people to not use webhook as a default, uh, mainly because I want that file. Um, but then yeah, so we're gonna do a local player, which equals the source of the player. Since this is, uh, so we're just gonna grab the source of the player, right? So now we're gonna do if use then, uh, we're gonna log air discord. And I'm gonna write this already for you guys so you guys can understand this. So we're gonna ask for the webhook or resource, the air and get player name. That's capital G, my bad. Get player name and then our player. Else, we're gonna log error, which is the function we already wrote, and we already know we need resource error and our get player name player. End. And we could add the print here of error found in resource, and then space space resource, space space colons C. Space whoops C logs folder. Okay, and then we'll see log. Actually, you know what? I will write your guys' other. I will. I'll, I will add this one for now because I. I'm already sort of going through it. We could already just figure this out. So local func. Whoops. Function of this, and what we're gonna do is a webhook resource error. Layer. I'm gonna go through this sort of quick here just because it's somewhat of a bigger function but uh, basically what you're gonna have is your local webhook URL equals to whoops equals to webhook so it's gonna grab your webhook URL local webhook user equals I like just call this mp error error collection you guys can name this whatever and then you have a local webhook avatar url which you could set it to whatever i personally set mine to this which just happens to be main powers um, then you're going to basically want this local time so we're going to have the local time right there as well and then we're going to do the same thing with uh well we're gonna have a local description. Dis whoops. Description. Which actually happens to be this same part right here, right? So we're taking we're taking the inside part. So we're taking this and this. And we're gonna do set this equal to um, basically error and resource, but we're not gonna do the time. Um, well we could but it's a little different. So Aaron resource, uh, we're gonna add a couple asterisks here. So asterisk, 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 and then player asterisk, 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 asterisk. And then we're gonna have that colon. So basically what this does is it will bold these two. So it'll bold the resource, bold the player, won't bold the error though. Okay. And then we're gonna have a local pay load. So this is what it's gonna be doing. And we're opening up the curly break bracket so username whoops username which is going to be the username that the webhook goes so webhook user uh huh and then we're going to do comma av avatar, uh, avatar underscore url which is going to equal to that webhook avatar url and then comma and we're going to embed this so embeds equals curly curly open title equals air oops quotes quotes air in resource uh, colon space outside dot dot resource comma uh, so that's going to be the title it's going to give you the air and resource and what the resource is 
And then the description is going to equal to description, quite simple. And we're going to do a color equal to this color, which happens to be red. So 16777215, which is the embed color for red. And then we're going to add a timestamp equal to that time, which is why we don't have it in the description. All right. So when you're out of this, I'm going to open it up a little bit. Whoops. Whoops. So get out of the curly brackets and we're going to do a perform HTTP request. So we're performing this, which is going to be that webhook um, webhook URL. We are going to grab, and then we're going to add a comma function, open brackets, air text headers. So if air 200, so squiggly bracket then, uh, print failed to send web hook. So if the air is longer than 200, basically it will not send. Else we will do a, or whoops, not else, end. So if it doesn't equal that, um, whoops, we add this. So we're gonna end this, and then we're gonna put a comma, all caps post, comma JSON dot encode, Oops, encode. And then we're gonna encode the payload. And then you're gonna do comma, brackets, and then, uh, or squiggly bracket braces, then brackets, then content dash type equals, let me add the space there. So equals, quotes, application, slash JSON. And then we will end it just like that. And this will perform a HTTP request, which will send it to Discord. But on that note, this video is gonna be ending. It's a little longer than I expected, but uh, hopefully I explained it quite well. If you still have questions, hop in the Discord. Second video will come out the day after this one, or uh, honestly, might even just be later in the day.